the reason they do things in a way to prevent you from shouting is so I sound more like a white person. So I can pretend that their churches are legitimate and the true spiritual direction. And because none of them obeyed me, we can all agree the fair thing to do is just excommunicate them and their offspring. That's that. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's one of the easier objections to do. It might be more controversial, but it's simple. Simple. Matthew 7, 15 through 23. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Okay, so they're concerned with hunting, they're concerned with food. Watch the way the money flows, watch the way the women flow. You know, and watch who's what kind of kind of simp Ichabob guy who might not get any dates, they have working with them, and so on and so forth. Wolves run in packs. The, the, the uh, wolf is a symbol of the Roman people. Western culture is derived from Roman culture. They did not reject it since the Bible warned you, and now so we can tell that all their cultures are wolf cultures. 16. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Do people look for the word of God from the cultures of the people that killed them? Of course not. 17. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. The West still deals, deals in social orders derived from Roman philosophy. That's a bad tree. And their reproductive cycles, their cultures, their, their governments, their police forces, their law enforcement, their rock and roll guys, emos, the different genres, their secret societies, their social clubs, they're all from bad trees that reject sound logic. The Lord detests dishonest scales, and the dishonest scales come from bad trees. Does the Lord detest bad trees and their bad fruit? A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Okay, we'll get to this later. It, Thus, by their fruit you will recognize them. So in it's Matthew 7, 16 and Matthew 7, 20, they say, by their fruit. Go back to John 10, you know, where it makes it clear, you know, John 10, 36. What about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said I am God's son? Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even if, I, even if you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am the Father. So why aren't these people coming to me and saying, God is working through this guy, right? So we know them by their works. But they're not doing the works of God. The work of God is a marshalling force. It's a God of order, uh, not a God of disorder. Verse 21. Now everyone who says to the Lord, excuse me, to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell you plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. So obviously the warrior spirit of God someone in it on the highest level, the top martial arts, is going to recognize them. Okay? When these people pray, I never knew them. When they don't obey, I never knew them. When they raise their daughters to shun me, I never knew them. When they're part of cultures whose all the attractive women shun me, I never knew them. King Solomon had, according to, uh, I believe it's First Kings, has 700 wives and 300 concubines. Why didn't their parents raise them to shun King Solomon? Truly, I've done greater things than King Solomon. Okay. Uh, Psalm, okay, so going back to Matthew 7, uh, 19. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown to the fire. Psalm 118, it says, All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. And Jesus refers to this, right? It's bestowed in this same psalm. It's a very long psalm, uh, chapter, you know, uh, where it says, the, 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 stone, the stone the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Okay, so Jesus refers to this very chapter. So who's cutting them down? Right? It's the warrior spirit of God. It's King David. Everyone else is some kind of beta spirit, some kind of thug spirit, some kind of state spirit, some kind of fake martial arts spirit. I mean, it's not very hard to tell. When the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles say they're in the true spirit of God, do you believe them? No. When G.I. Joe says they're in the true spirit of God, no. When the Quantico people from that TV show, from uh, you know Quantico, Virginia, wherever the FBI, no. You know, Langley and the CIA or wherever, wherever they're from. No. Okay, you're a dumbass. You don't understand that. Some biker gang says they're in the truth. Of course not. Some street gang. No. Some UFC fighters. No. Why do I have to explain this stuff? Okay? The Lord detests this on a scale. Not only should I not have to explain it, I should detest you in the true spirit of God, and I do, for making it so I feel the need to explain it, because by your works you have communicated that you have not honed your senses to understand. A synonym and a similar word for sense is to is appreciate, 
to sense, to appreciate. You do not appreciate me. You do not appreciate God. You do not appreciate right and wrong. Okay? And you are sealing your kids in hell with no uh, decent path, no moral path, no just path. Uh, uh, Proverbs 8.20, I walk in the way of righteousness along the path of justice. If there is no way to be righteous and there's no path to be moral and just and no path of justice, okay, can you do God's work? No, it's that simple. 